What's happening guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about all of the mods on my M3. I do get a lot of DMs and questions and comments about uh, specific parts that are on the car, so I figured I'd make this video real quick for you guys. Um, of course, it's starting to rain here, unfortunately, and this car normally does not see rain, so I'm gonna to try to make this a relatively quick video, but I uh, just kinda of wanted to share all of the mods that are currently on the car in its current state, so that way it'll hopefully eliminate some of the questions that I get. So let's get started. Um, might as well start here in the interior. All right, so the current view that you guys have here, something pretty obvious that stands out in this interior would be the blue seatbelts. So these were custom done by a company called Safety Restore. Um, I did a whole install series on how to install these, but basically all I did was I took out all of my stock seatbelts, I sent them into Safety Restore, and within 48 hours I had these come back to my house and then I swapped them in. So uh, Safety Restore specializes mostly in like airbags and like OEM replacement parts, um, but they also do colored seat belts. So they were a sponsor of mine for a short period of time, and um, I was able to score some of these. And you guys may be wondering why blue. Blue is actually my favorite color, but besides that, um, I think it kind of gives it a really nice clean look. Um, I thought about doing something different like yellow or purple or something like that, but I think blue just kind of suits the car. It kind of suits my personality. So that's what I went with. Um, additionally, I did have some custom interior trim in here at one point. I had some custom one by one carbon trim. Uh, it matched the roof and all the other carbon on the exterior of the car, but um, I ended up selling all that and I went something, you know, went with something a little bit more subtle. There's my Dunkin' coffee. I don't normally drink or eat in here, but uh, it's one of those days. So as you guys can see, I do have some custom interior trim. This is all leather, but it does have this custom royal blue stitching here. Same thing with the shift boot and the e-brake boot here. So all of the trim inside of here looks like this. This is kind of like an OEM leather, um, you know, from BMW type design, uh, but it does have this custom pinstriping here all the way across everything. So, so all the trim inside of here was custom made by a company called Stitched Wheels. Uh, they're really large in the E30 community, but um, they do do a lot of custom trim. So I did a full install series on this as well if you guys need a DIY or need some additional information, but um, that's where all of this is from. So this is all genuine leather, really nice quality stuff. Um, he also does make some steering wheels for, like I said, for like the E30 and other models, but um, super high quality stuff here. Very, very pleased. And the price is also really good for these. Um, so highly recommend that experience. Um, as you guys can see, I do have a little bit of carbon fiber inside of here still. So these are custom one by one um, overlaid on top of the stock handles. And so these were actually from Nelson Racing Wheel, which is all the trim that I used to have in here. The one by one custom trim that I had was also Nelson Racing Wheel, but um, I, had, I left these here because these are kind of a big pain in the ass to um, remove and install. So I figured I'd just leave these here, plus um, it looks pretty nice kind of unique. Um, I did have some steering wheel trim here as well, but I ended up selling that and I went back to the OEM just to kind of have a more OEM plus type look inside of here. As you guys can see, I do have this blue start button to match. And then I do have my IND color matched Alpine white start button bezel here. Um, additionally, you guys can see that I do have this here. This is a uh, radar system. So this is actually a Escort Max 360 CI. So it's a custom install. Uh, laser jammer and radar system. So um, I did a full install series on that as well if you need a DIY. And I think the only other thing on the inside of here, um, as you guys can see, the leather is in super good shape. I don't think, and pretty much no one has sat back here in the back seats. Um, I did do a leather -y treatment last summer and uh, really rejuvenated the leather, so highly recommend that. Um, the only other thing inside of here, I would say, is the custom gauges here. So these are by Venoxy, um, and these were actually custom made to my specs. And I wanted kind of more of an OEM plus type look. So this kind of pays homage to the E46 M3 with the gray, gray gauges there. Um, but yeah, and what's really cool about this one is the little M symbol there actually lights up at nighttime. So pretty cool. Otherwise inside of here, I think it kind of has an OEM plus type look to it. And the only other thing here in the interior is the shift knob. It is kind of one of those ZCP M5 shift knobs. Um, it's the short version. So it you know, drastically improves the, the feel of 
the shift knob and it is also illuminated so it does light up at nighttime. So Bob Sound is one of my sponsors on this channel and they graciously hooked me up with an entire Bob Sound system so I do have a stage one speaker upgrade in here and I also do have their Revenant amplifier so um, probably about $3,000 worth of stuff in this car for a sound system uh, because the car did only come with the stock hi-fi system which is really not that great at all. Um, this one drastically improved and uh, it also does have the ghost subwoofers from Bob Sound as well. So highly recommend their products and um, huge thanks to all my sponsors who have helped build this car. Oh yeah, one last interior mod. We do have some LED um, lights here in the whole interior of the cabin. Um, we also have some of these lights in the trunk, I believe, too, but uh, these are Ziza LEDs. Um, pretty solid. Oh, and I guess you can't forget this custom mod here. These are illuminated door sills from Graphics Works. I did a whole install video on this as well. Um, these are custom made. They don't even exist anymore, so don't even look for <laughs> look for these because you will not be able to find them. But uh, yeah, so that just about does it for the interior. Let's move outside. All right, so let's talk exterior mods. The most obvious here that you guys can see are the wheels currently. So these are Volk TE37s. Um, these are the Ultras, a little bit more durable uh, than the TE37 SLs. Um, I just actually put these on the car not too long ago. These are diamond black, and uh, the specs on these are 19 by 9.5 plus 23 in the front with a 275 3019 tire, and then the rear is a 19 by 10.5 plus 23 offset with a 295 3019 in the tire. So um, this is actually my, whew, shoot, it's probably my third set of wheels on this car. I actually had a set of uh, work wheels, work emotion CR2P wheels for a short period of time. And then uh, I went back to Forge Star F14s that were custom powder coated bronze, rocked that for a little while, and then actually just got these wheels not long ago. So uh, really like the way this looks. Obviously I have videos on all this stuff. But uh, yeah, so the car is a little bit dirty right now because it's been sitting outside now that I've moved out of my house. And uh, like I said, it's been raining a little bit here today. But, uh, so don't mind the dirt. But yeah, so those are the wheels, wheel specs. Let's start here on the front. Um, obviously this car is covered in carbon fiber. As you guys can see, it's got a front lip here. So this is a GTS style front lip, one by one weave, just like everything else on the car. This is actually from RW Carbon. Um, the lower splitter also came with that as well. So I've got both lips on there. Fitment is pretty dang good, if you ask me. I've had this on here for, I don't know, almost, probably almost like five years at this point and um, has held up very, very well. Um, it does have some BMW M Performance black chrome grills there. Additionally, on the emblems, the front and back, these are custom painted black all the way around. Those are from Impulse Designs, but uh, you could actually buy those from IND, which I would recommend doing instead. The other major front end modification are the blacked out headlights. So these were my first mod on this car, actually. So these are done by Bay Optics. It does have a custom one by one weave housing inside of there. And those are 6,500 Kelvin uh, angel eyes. Uh, went with the traditional uh, round rings just because I think it looks a little bit cleaner. Um, it does have quad projectors. It also has some custom paint in here. So the projector shrouds are custom painted a gloss gunmetal. And then as you guys can see the turn signals here, these are their beauty piece turn signals. Kind of gives it more of an LCI look to it. And it does have some custom paint with the gloss black slats and the gloss gunmetal um, on this edge here. Additionally, I did put a, an LED bulb inside of there because once we deleted all the chrome, it did make it a little bit dimmer looking. So I did put an LED bulb uh, on the turn signals. Um, additionally, it does have some color matched reflectors here. These are from IND. The top here on the hood does have some custom one by one weave um, hood grills. Those are also from Nelson Racing Wheel. And then here on the sides, we do have some gloss black um, side grills from IND distribution, as well as the uh, completely dark smoked LED turn signals there. 
Um, I did switch the Alpine white mirrors out. These are gloss black from IND. Um, additionally, the whole front end front clip is covered in PPF, so it does have um, SunTech film on it. So the mirrors are done. Uh, one third hood, fenders, front bumper, um, side skirts. The entire roof is done as well. It does have the carbon roof. And this is a ZCP car. Um, obviously the car has been lowered, but it did, it was originally a competition pack car. So it does have the stock ZCP um, M359 wheels, uh, but we are lowered currently on some KW HAS, which is the um, height adjustable sleeve kit from KW. Highly recommend it, best bang for the buck, and uh, really, you know, really amplifies the suspension feel on the car, but doesn't make it super crazy tight and obnoxious. Um, I, I really like them a lot, so get a lot of questions on that. And no, it's not on the max max low setting. As you guys can see, I do have a little finger gap in the front, and I do have some stuff in the trunk right now, but um, so this is sitting a tiny little bit lower, but for the most part, that's kind of how it sits. Um, we also do have some one by one weave uh, side skirt extensions. Those are from a Euro plug. Highly recommend, super nice. Uh, I think that's a really understated um, modification that people don't seem to do all the time. Same thing, the rear the rear uh, bumper here has side skirt extensions, also from a Euro plug, custom one by one. The diffuser here uh, is also one by one. This is the Arkham style diffuser. The fitment's pretty decent. Um, originally from RW Carbon. And um, yeah, so the taillights here are, I'm back on stock taillights, uh, swapped those out a while back, and these are just the stock LCI taillights, but it also does have some light smoke film on top of it, just to kind of give it more of a darker look. Um, it's more of like a cherry than, you know, a, a black. So it's really light smoke, uh, and that was from Vivid Vinyl, installed that myself. Uh, same thing with the Impulse Designs black emblem, emblem there. The M3 badge there is from IND Distribution, gloss black. This was also one of my very first mods, was this high kick spoiler here. That was an eBay special actually, because it's very hard to find one by one weave anything for this car. So uh, I would just want it all to match the carbon roof. So everything does, everything looks really, really nice. And then once again, you guys can see that I do have the radar system in the back here. So this is the uh, laser shifters. The actual radar is down here somewhere hiding. I do have them also in the front. So I think uh, that's all of the exterior mods that I can think of at the moment. But uh, I think it's a super clean car. Also the whole car is ceramic coated. It does have Seacourse Professional ceramic coating and I do maintain that very well. Uh, I try to wash this car almost, uh, almost weekly and I've had the coating on here for a couple years now and it's it's pretty much like it was on day one. So as long as you maintain the coating, um, I highly recommend it. I do switch between you know different car soaps and shampoos when washing, but as long as you maintain it with some uh, you know bead maker or uh, some car pro reload on the paint, then it'll prolong the life of that. All right. So in terms of performance mods, obviously there's only so much you can do with these cars uh, without putting a blower on it, but it does have. Well, here's the headlights. Yeah, it just turned off. Okay, so, but it does have a carbon fiber AFE intake here. It also does have a BPM Sport tune. I actually have a couple of different tunes for this car. Um, did install videos on that, especially if you want to see what a burble tune looks like on this car. I'm not a fan of the burble, so it didn't stay on that long, but I do have a stage two tune on this thing. Um, I also have the stage two burble tune, so a couple different variations of that. But under here, otherwise, it's stuck. And like I said, ZCP car, and it does have the EDC, EDC uh, suspension. Um, so other mods, we do have currently uh, rocking a uh, Mock Schnell Catless X-Pipe with an Eisenman race rear section. I've had over the course of two E92 M3s that I've owned now, I've had I think seven or eight exhaust iterations. This is by far my favorite one. Um, I've had a lot of different setups and I was, you know, just trying to change and figure out what my favorite tone was. Uh, this one does have a little bit of rasp to it. It's pretty dang loud. Um, I don't think video footage really captures it. It's a lot louder in person, uh, but it, you know, 
daily driving is is not something I do with this car but if you were to daily drive it I think it would be pretty obnoxious um, so if you're, you guys are looking for a daily driven exhaust setup I did have a full Dynan exhaust on my last M3 and that was perfect for daily driving so this is a little bit loud but it does um, it doesn't give me headaches like some of my other setups did um, but yeah I highly recommend this this setup here additionally we do have some um, motorsport hardware stud conversion kit as well so uh, makes things a lot easier and yeah I think that's more or less it as far as I can think all right guys so I think that just about does it for all of the mods on my car I know it's got a lot of stuff on it um, it's had a couple different changes and looks over the years but generally I've kept it the same you know the carbon has always been on the car um, I've owned this car for five years now and it's got 27 27,800 miles on it and I bought it with 21.8 I think so I've put 6,000 miles on it in five years uh, not a lot at all and like I said this was not a daily driven car and a lot of people do make fun of me for not driving the car but um, I was planning to keep this car for a really long time and wanted to keep the miles off and this is my baby so you know um, I really really do enjoy this car there's nothing that beats the, the S65 yeah it's not the fastest thing on the road but the driving experience is more important to me and uh, this is by far one of the best driving experiences I've had in any of the cars that I've owned so that just about wraps it up for today's video. I hope that eliminates a lot of the questions that I get uh, from you guys about the mods and things that I've done to this car. Um, it's been a fantastic car. If you guys are looking to purchase an E92 M3, I highly recommend that you do so soon because prices on these are starting to go back up. Um, you know, it is this is a 2013 model, so it is actually getting a lot older, but finding low mile, great condition um, specs like this one, especially in a manual, getting a lot harder to find. And uh, you might want to start holding on to these cars because, you know, especially if you've got a really low mile one, it's going to be worth some money. So, but in terms of maintenance, I really haven't had any issues with this thing at all. Um, you know, I've only put, like I said, 6,000 miles on it, but uh, over the course of five years, as long as you do your proper warm up routine, um, you know, you don't need to worry about rod bearings. People freak out about the rod bearings, but uh, their percentage of failure is, you know, like less than 1% of all the vehicles that are out on the road for this car, especially with the low mileage I have. Like, I, this car can go easily, you know, I don't know, 70,000 miles before I really need to start worrying about it, probably. Um, but as long as you do proper warm-up procedures and things like that, like, you shouldn't have any issues. So, um, just did ba basic, you know, maintenance on this thing, oil changes and fluid changes and, um, you know, things like that. So, very, very um, easy car to maintain for the most part. And um, I highly recommend buying one because, like I said, they don't, make, they don't make these BMWs like they used to anymore. This is probably the last, you know, this is going to be the last V8 M3 m car that they make naturally aspirated so uh you know these are going to be worth something someday so um i guess if you guys have any comments or questions or concerns about anything that i've talked about in today's video please let me know in the comments below i'm always happy to answer questions especially when it comes to mods i love modding and um as you guys can already tell this whole channel is based on modifications basically so uh yeah if you guys have any comments please let me know otherwise we will see you guys on the next video stay tuned for more i've got lots of content coming along the way thanks for watching